Let's make Chinese barbecue ribs. Food of life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on. Be a part of the notification. <coughs> All right. Chinese barbecue. So, one of my favorite things is Chinese barbecue. Let's go. Follow along the membrane of these beautiful rack ribs. All right, we're going to do stick that fork in, stick your finger right in like so. Dig it out, rip it up. There it is. If you don't like it, you like it, just however you feel, just do what you gotta do, right? But I, personal preference, like to take up the memory, like so. Next step of this, nice boiling water, or well, almost boiling water, but just set up our water, Let's season it with two onions, one piece of ginger in. This is mushroom seasoning. Just like chicken bouillon, okay? If you don't have mushroom seasoning, just use chicken bouillon. Let's go, half a cup, two tablespoon, salt, two tablespoon, black pepper cordon. And lastly, just because I do not want to use red beetle juice, I want to use something more natural as a, a natto seed just for my red coloring. Kind of weird to say that just because natural, if I said beetle juice, it's pretty much is natural, right? But I don't want any of that. I want some unnatural, so I'm gonna try something new. Hopefully this red cup or red color comes out in this broth here and just kind of stain my rib. Right? Here goes my pork for one hour, all right? Let's go in with our sauce. We got half a cup sugar, half a teaspoon white pepper, half a teaspoon onion powder, half a teaspoon garlic powder, quarter teaspoon ginger powder, quarter teaspoon Chinese fire spice, teaspoon sesame oil, tablespoon Oyster sauce, tablespoon light soy sauce, tablespoon dark soy sauce, teaspoon mushroom seasoning. And this will be out of the ordinary, but it's gonna be my twist, my take on it. A third cup of strawberry jam. Okay. Just because the natto is not soaking into my ribs as I wanted to, we gotta use red, okay? Beetle juice, beetle juice, two. Then we cook this up for 10 minutes. Here we go, and the results of the natto in my water turned my meat lightly orange, but don't matter because we're about to sauce it with our beautiful sauce right here. Make it red, okay? One ladle, our oven's at a broil, and we're gonna baste this, let's say four times or until you're out of sauce. So, brush it on. Front and back, okay? Front and back. My sauce could be a little redder. If you guys want more of a red though to it, just put more of the beetle juice, okay? That's all. Oven's at a broil. Broil, five minutes on each side, but keep an eye on it because it will burn. Yes. Five minutes in, this will be our second coat here. Front and back, okay? Five minutes on each side. Here we go. This is the last glaze. Oh. Since it's the last glaze, I'll finish it off with a strip of honey. Gives it more of that oomph, that all around glossy look, right? Honey on top. Let me honey bun or honey glaze your Chinese ribs for you, eh? And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is my Chinese barbecue ribs. See that nice gloss in it? Best results, I say in my opinion, just let it sit for about 10 minutes. Let it cool out, let it all mellow together, let each other know each other. All the ingredients get together and just kind of accumulate. Is that the word? Accumulate. And just understand each other. That's it. Give it a 10 minutes, okay? Chinese barbecue can be expensive or inexpensive, depending on what you get. But if you follow this recipe, I can guarantee you, you'll get your money's worth. I promise. Okay? It cost me $23. Okay. to me. Mm. 
Give him some of that sticky icky. Let's hit that Chinese barbecue. So, if you guys never had Chinese barbecue ever before, wow. You guys are missing out. Legit, you guys are. It's not like American Chinese, or it's not like American Chinese, but it's not, it's not American barbecue. It's Chinese barbecue, okay? You gotta eat with rice. The only side you need is rice. Maybe vegetable, but mostly it's just rice. No mash, no mac and cheese, just rice to balance life, okay? But on this, quick tap, let's get it nice. You have to, I'll just bite into it, I'll show you the texture. Super pumped. Mm. I got rice right here. You thought I didn't have rice, right? I'm gonna eat with my finger. Mm. Mm. This is restaurant quality Chinese barbecue ribs. The texture on this has to be not fall off the bone, but like, has to be tender. Still has to have a chew on it. Mmm. Top layer, nice, well seasoned. It's marinated, or it's not really marinated, it's cooked in that. I want to say peppery, mm, salted component. <laughs> what is that word? You know when we cook beer, beer, and that that leftover, that leftover sauce. What is that called? You know, I just want to be fancy, you know. Mmm. I have the word. I want to say component for some reason. Mmm. Mmm. Heaven! <laughs> that is so good. Composition? Oh, I forget it. Let's enjoy some Chinese barbecue. Absolutely decadent. That last layer of honey. That's my little secret. Not really my secret. The Chinese secret, really. I got you, right? I'm Vietnamese. I got you. Mmm. <laughs> wow. That is it. When it comes down to Chinese barbecue, it really, really depends on which location, but the rib, Usually is the most expensive, but the best. In my opinion, composition. Something composition. Mmm. Mmm. Some black pine. Use a fork. No. Eating like this is amazing. Mm. I swear, endless ribs. <laughs> endless ribs. They're beginning with the endless ribs stuff. You feel good after eating like two, three, five, six bones. But in reality, you just ate a rack or a half a rack. Oh, this rice is sticky icky. Not even sweet. No, not not too sweet. It's just right with the rice. Mm. Amazing.
freezing. For some reason, I want some sticky rice with this. You know, if I'm not going to hit. Oh. Chinese barbecue. You can look at the rim and you see like a pink layer of redness, kind of like mimicking the smoke. I'll tell you what, a lot of Chinese places don't have smoke. They don't smoke their ribs, I'd say that. Maybe some do, but majority don't smoke their ribs, right? That light red it faint in the color kind of looked like a smoke rib at the Chinese barbecue. It's actually red food color seeping in the meat just to give it that um, um, attractive appeal I think you know what I said, just go easy on that red food color. Don't need too much. This is more than beautiful. It's actually perfect. Man, in my head right now, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> now I want to say compound butter. I don't know why I said I want to compound butter, but another one. Yeah. To put in perspective, this tastes like char siu, Chinese style. The honey glaze, remember that honey glaze, kid? Make sure you put the honey glaze. When you put the honey glaze, don't you tell anybody else, right? You're just gonna level up. Like some people be like, oh, you just have the char siu, um, the sauce, you know? Pretty typical, everybody has the char siu uh, sauce. Everybody has that sauce. But you, you my friend, put that, put that honey on it. You're gonna level up, my friend. You're gonna level up with that. Hmm? Maybe dragging everybody. Yeah. It's a crawling stage. It's a crawling stage, right? So it's must Has to be crawling. He doesn't like crawling. He likes to do it. Standing. <laughs> he likes standing. Don't like crawling. He likes standing. He'd rather stand. Sta oh, he stands and climbs. That's what he likes. He doesn't like crawling. He's done with crawling. You tried it, eh, don't like it. You'd rather stack. Oh man. What a treat. 